Not so fast! You chose the wrong part of the jungle to explore, male. What did you think you were going to accomplish? Spy on the Amazon warriors of the Northern Jaguar tribe and walk out of here without a scratch on you? Typical male. Always thinking that you can do whatever you want and not face consequences. You're about to learn the hard way, wretched filth. On your feet, now! Hey, back up! Back up! This is my prisoner. I found him, so I get to do whatever I want. So any of you so much as touch him, I'll be telling my mother how you disobeyed the lead warrior of the tribe. You really want to face the consequences of that, ladies? Didn't think so. Now move out of my way. Walk. Mother! I captured my own slave. Thank you, Mother. He was spying on the tribe, so I made sure he knew that this was the worst move he could ever possibly make in his life. Did I say that you could speak, wretch? Find yourself lucky I'm in a forgiving mood today and don't take you out right on the spot. Good idea, Mother. A trip to the dungeon will do him some good. Hear that, male? You're granted mercy from the Queen of the Northern Jaguar tribe. Bow your head and say thank you, my queen, for being so merciful to you. Yes, Mother, I will take him. Do not worry yourself over such menial tasks. You walk now. I am so sorry. Are you all right? Are you sure? I didn't push you too hard or hurt your feelings by talking to you like that, did I? No. Well, I mean, yes, but no. I... You see, Amazons are supposed to hate men, but I... I guess I'm just not a very good Amazon. Sometimes I believe that I was stolen away from a mother who was not an Amazon and was brought here to become one. Yes, I suppose you're right. I wouldn't be this tall if I weren't a true Amazon. So, where are you from? Huh? Where is that? That sounds like it's far away from here. Perfect! I can go there then! Where you're from? You can take me there. What do you mean you can't take me there? What's stopping you? How did you even get here in the first place? A rowboat. This is going to be more complicated than I originally thought then. Oh, you meant a rowboat from a bigger ship. 
Well, that's perfect. We can leave right now. Why do I want to leave this bad? Because I'm not meant to be here. Everyone here believes that inequality between women and men is a stable and absolute necessity to maintain the society we have tucked away in the jungle. I've always thought that there was more out there for me, but I never knew what or even where to begin. I tried to convince other men who had been taken prisoner by my sisters to help me escape with them so that I could set them free and they could come help me and get me started on a new life, but they were all too afraid of the other warriors here. So I never quite got as far as I wanted. But you could be different. We could get away from here and live better lives. No, please, you have to help me. I'm literally on my knees here. Wow, you're short. Is this the size of all men where you're from or are you just an unfortunate exception? No, wait, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to insult you. I'm just not good at talking to men. But can you blame me? My whole life I was taught that they were beneath me, literally and metaphorically, and their only uses were for... not important. The point is, we both need to get out of here so we can both help each other. I can help you by getting you out of the dungeons to be used for you don't want to know what and get you back to your home where you'll never have to come back here or fear being tracked down by my mother and the rest of the tribe and you could help me by showing me what your world is like outside of the jungle and giving me the chance to get on my own two feet. Oh, you don't need to warn me about sticking out in your world. I'm well aware that not everyone over there is seven foot three. How tall is the average person? That... You're joking, right? Wow. Um... All right. Well, something to get used to, I suppose. I guess learning how to sew my own clothes really comes in handy now. And all this time I thought my mother was teaching me that sort of thing because it was just something to punish me for. So you'll do it? You'll take me with you to your world? <gasps> oh, this is so exciting! I can't believe I'm finally going to go out into the world and see what it's like for myself. Okay, so, I have a plan all ready for us. I'm going to take you outside and act like you're a prisoner who's leading me to his boat where I can take all your supplies and keep them for myself, but we're actually going to be getting onto your boat and getting away from this island. What do you think? Great. Let's make you look like you've gotten thrown around a little bit. There. Now, you think you're ready to go out there and give the performance of your life? Okay. Let's do this. Yes? What can I help you with, ladies? No, you don't need to worry about accompanying me. I'm taking this filth to his boat where he will be taking all of his possessions and handing them over to us for whatever we may need them for in the future. I'm just going to make sure that he actually has something of worth like he says he does. Otherwise, he's going to be very sorry that he ever promised such a thing. Isn't that right, male? See? Now if you'll excuse us, walk. I don't believe you heard me the first time. You don't need to accompany me. 
Do I sense insubordination? I'm sure my mother would love to hear about how you ladies are so unwilling to listen to the lead warrior of the tribe. Have I not led you into many a battle, saved your skin plenty of times, and given orders of war that have brought us success and prosperity? Precisely. So I say once again, you do not need to accompany me. Walk. We're far away enough now that they can't see or hear us, thankfully. <sighs> Do you see what I have to put up with? Constantly being questioned, having to be so stern and dominating. It's exhausting. That's why I can't wait to go to your world, live in your type of life. I want to feel like I can be calm and soft sometimes. And one day, maybe, I can fall in love. That's correct. I've never been in love. We're not allowed to be in the tribe. Otherwise, that can lead to... complications, I suppose. We'll call it that for now. How about you? Have you ever been in love? That's so. Hmm. Oh, nothing. I'm just really excited to see the way that you live life and see what I can do with mine. Now that I'm a free woman. <laughs> I guess you would want to know the name of the free woman you're taking with you and essentially teaching how to be a normal human. Sorry, I'm not used to being able to share things like this with men. My name's Jonah, and yours is... Well, nice to officially meet you then. So, is your boat much further away? Just a little ways further. Perfect. We should be there soon. We're here? Oh, I guess we are. There's your rowboat. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. This is going to be more complicated, isn't it? Yes, I suppose I could- Oh no. They followed me?! Ugh! Quick, in your boat! Hang on tight! I don't think they're following us, are they? Good. Good. Whew. That was close. Almost got ourselves captured back there, but thankfully... I was always a good swimmer. I apologize for the rush there. I didn't want us both to be taken back to the tribe, so I figured it would be best if your rowboat got a little bit of a... kick, shall we say? Huh? What's a motor? Oh! It's one of your modern inventions! I see. You can tell me all about them while we're on our way back to your home. But, a uh, Quick question. Am I going to have to swim and push us all the way there? We're not. Thank the goddess. So... Which way is your bigger boat? The one with the... motor.
All right, that way it is then.